All right, welcome back to Dwight and Hoyle. Thanks for tuning in once again. We have a great episode lined up for you. Um, on this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to take two concrete blocks. We're going to show you how to make a fire out of it. And what's good... I'm trying to do something here. If you can just give me a few seconds, you're always interrupting me. Anyway, like I said, we're going to teach you how to get your materials together. And then we're going to really, for God's sakes, man... Your regularly scheduled broadcast is being interrupted to bring you this important announcement. Welcome to the 1111 News, the home of the bizarre, the unusual, the unexplained. My name is Gully Foyle, and the USA is my nation. Apparently, we have a situation here where the rogue 12th planet, Nibiru, has entered our solar system and is wreaking havoc throughout the world. We are now going to cut to our on-the-scene reporter, Flip Flipperson. Thanks a lot, Gully. Um, as you can see, I'm standing here on location. We are having rapid environmental changes. Um, this is high land safe. I don't recommend anyone being outside right now um, as the planet Nibiru approaches. Um, nonetheless, um, the government has planned for this, I hope, and uh, we're going to do what the officials tell us to do. And, uh, well, back to you, Gully. Nibiru, you say, Flip. That's quite interesting. But let's look at the historical facts. Nibiru was mentioned by the ancient Sumerians, a Middle Eastern culture that suddenly appeared 6,000 years ago in the area of the Tigris-Euphrates River in what is now modern Iraq. Now the Sumerians tell the tale of a race of alien beings, the Anunnaki, that came to earth in search of, you guessed it, gold. To mine the gold, they messed around with the DNA of the indigenous hominids of earth, our ancestors, to create a slave race of gold miners because they didn't want to get their anti-gravity digging machines dirty. Now they told these slave workers, our ancestors, that they needed the gold to stabilize the atmosphere of their home planet, Nibiru. No one here at the 1111 News disputes the fact that there are extraterrestrials. However, we believe that the Anunnaki wanted gold for a more personal Wait, we're getting a report from Flipper. That's a real dick thing to say, Gully. Uh, you know, you know, I don't like my name being made fun of, but uh, nonetheless, I do have a random citizen on the scene right now. What do you, what do you make of all this, man? As you can see, she is very upset. The world is in complete uproar. Up until the time of these events, this reporter thought that the return of Planet Nibiru was complete and utter um, This is completely unsafe to be outside. Screw this job. Um, I do believe I have to go back to the news room though and get my stuff. Well, Flip, I think you better make friends with those aliens because we've welded the doors to the newsroom shut. This has been an important news announcement from the 1111 News. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. All right. Um, well, thanks for tuning in. That's going to do it for our episode. Um, you can see that our fire got a little bit out of control, but the basic technique is what we were trying to get Concrete across to you. Concrete blocks and rub them together, yeah. So, uh, but subscribe if you like the content, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>